Hello everyone and welcome to One United. This is Wali Siddiqui joined in with Parithosh Joshi and Ekas Singh. And today, the match was match Ekas and Parithosh. It was between Tranmere FC and Manchester United. Tranmere is a team which beat Watford a couple of days ago. And there were quite a few United fans who were suggesting that uh, it will probably be a tough game looking at the pitch. The nature of the pitch, it was uh, as if you, they were actually playing a DPS charge, if you remember Ekas. That is supposed to like that, that was uh, the nature of the ground. So, but uh, surprisingly, six nil thumping, and uh, the scorers of the match, uh, Phil Jones was one of them, Jesse Lingard was one of them, Harry Maguire was one of them, Diego Dello, Anthony Martial, and Mason Greenwood. So, it was quite a surprising day to be honest. 26th of January, always remember that date. So, Pyrus, first, let's talk to you about this uh, stunt with the result and the scorers. Well, everybody is, everyone is. I think uh, not even Manchester United fans, even the ones who are not Manchester United fans, the rivals, they are also stunned by seeing the scoring. <laughs> Harry Maguire scored a long ranger. And uh, Diego Della was on the score sheet. Phil Jones was on the score sheet. Uh, Heze Lingard, uh, for once, was on the score sheet. So, so that is quite surprising. Uh, United were... Uh, I don't. I won't, I won't say their flamboyant self. Tranmere played really bad, but uh, United were United were equally good in picking up their chances. They uh, they punished Tranmere whenever they could, and that was something positive to see, to see that uh, they were not squandering chances. In the previous game, we squandered our chances and we lost two 0 to Burnley. We could have easily uh, led two 0 or three 0 at uh, half time <coughs> during the Burnley game, but uh, we lost it 2-0 eventually. So that is one thing that was on my mind, whether we were able to close our chances or not. So that is good to see that we closed in on our chances. Also, an interesting fact I'd like to uh, bring to everyone who's listening and watching to us, that uh, uh, the last time United scored five goals in a half, that was back in February 2001 against Arsenal when we won 6-1. It was the inf- infamous game where Arsenal scored once uh, at the start of the game and then United thrashed them six goals th- thrashed six goals on them so that was one game at, in 2001 that was how good United was and since then no game in no game we have scored five goals in and a half and today was finally the day when we scored five goals in and a half and i guess it was Solskjaer who had scored the so, fifth goal in the goal, half yes. game in in, just before the half just before the half so yep uh... It was quite a coincidence. Akers, bhai, apna take de. Harry Maguire, Phil Jones, Jesse Lingard and uh, uh, Diego Della all getting into the score sheet after a really, really, really long time Harry Maguire scoring his first goal. So, what do you have to say about the match? Um, I don't know how Watford lost to this team, to be very honest. <laughs> and it was men against boys. And this is not the level that will define the season. I think this is this was worse than a charity match. So, we can't take anything away from this game, according to me. Even though they scored 6-5, doesn't matter for me. Because the way they scored the goals, if you see, even in slow motion, it was like the <laughs> players had no idea where they are. It was and like a virtual game. It, it was like a virtual game. And the more you talk about the field and... Uh, it was the terrible. Is because it was, it, terrible. Was, it was my my school's ground were better than better than what mentioned were playing at today. Yeah, I think even the Astana ground which United played in was a lot better. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And uh, I think we shouldn't take anything away from this game, but at least uh, the youngsters got some confidence. So. Um, that's just a positive for me and it's just a one-off. So, let's move on and see where we are against City. We need three goals at Etihad. Right, right. We have at, uh, let's just uh, take a note from this because uh, the game that we played today, 6-1, 6-0 was the scoreline. It kind of reminded me of the scoreline that uh, I had against Akers whenever he played FIFA against me. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Moving on. Let's uh, talk about... Uh, Angel Gomez, Akers, fun. interestingly, you did not comment on that. I'm quite surprised. Uh, Angel Gomez has been uh, a matter of concern for Manchester United for quite a while now. And he wasn't even in the squad. And there have been reports that 
it's disciplinary issues that has been costing him a spot in the starting 11 or even in the squad nowadays but do you think that he's been t- treated fairly over here paytosh if there is disciplinary issues we can't we are not sure uh, right now at least i am not if there is disciplinary issues yes uh, there is no denying that he shouldn't be punished but uh, i'm but, not but, sure but, 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 Paitosh, if you look exactly it, sure, huh? I, just, I just want to add one thing over here, Paitosh. But don't you think that if you are Angel Gomez and if you're watching Jesse Lingard and Andres Pereira on that number two end role, we can out it, and you know that they're failing on a constant basis, and you know that you are the one who's actually quite talented and you can actually make an impact, and you're not getting the opportunity. Doesn't that give you the right to actually be a little pissed off? Being pissed off is one thing, but being uh... not uh, not following orders of the coaches and uh, not showing up to the training sessions is something i am not very uh, comfortable with as a professional uh, setup as a professional club as, and the club of manchester united level i don't think anybody would be uh, anybody would be paired if there was a disciplinary issue let alone a young player who is coming amongst the ranks and he, he has a lot to prove right now so at least the one thing he can do is show up to the trainings on time and not uh, show any undisciplinary issues ekas could you please stop eating chips ekas hello yeah hello you you done <laughs> okay so i was not about to highlight it but it, then it's okay because the, the whole bit where we talked It was only the uh, crackling of the wrapper that he was eating chips from. Yeah, and uh, he just turned off his mic now for the time being. But anyways, while we will not talk about uh, the anti-glazer chance also over here. So what do you have to say about the anti-glazer chance? And there have also been reports. I'm very happy. Had... I'm very happy. I don't know what to say. Ekas, now you also need to weigh in on uh, Angel Gomez first. After that, we'll move on to the anti-glazer chance. So what do you have to say about Angel Gomez's situation and how? do we as uh, if you were the manager what would you uh, have done with angel gomez well if it's a disciplinary issue then it's it's what uh, ole did was right but um, that's not been the case for about 3 to 4 months now this we got to know about this like just today and i feel that it's the frustration which has built up in him that has led to this uh because he wasn't getting his chances so what i really feel is um he he will be back so he should just wait patiently for his chance and any disciplinary issue against him it should be treated the way it has been so he should just be patient right he has to be patient but uh, another thing that we got to witness today we are by the Rakers was the diff- uh, uh change in formation and it was uh, almost similar to the one that was put up against liverpool five at the back but it was harry maguire who was pumping himself at the front he almost played like another playmaker over there it's like basically saying that lingard and pereira you're pretty much useless so it's going to be me who's going to create the chance so is this a blueprint of what we're going to see against manchester city because five at the back clearly we're not that good at it today okay alagi story hogi lekin against city will we be able to pull it off I don't think that is a positive approach uh, if you are going with a back five because a team like City will be easily breaking you and then there will be consequences I don't think that's a positive mindset if Ole is planning to go with a back five against Manchester City and when you need to score three you can't play with a back five man that's uh, as simple as that you can play with a back three and go all attack if you want to score and get past Manchester City but if you are playing with a back five that means there is already negative mindset that we right. don't want to concede more right right ek right. sir uh, i had asked uh, parthush about the anti glazer chance and finally uh, we can say that the fan base is pretty much united on this and there have been reports of uh, the united fan base uh, who will be present at old trafford on 1st february when uh, the february when they face wolverhampton warriors that they will be walking out of the stadium after the 58th minute now i don't know how much of that is true but if it is do you think that this is one of the ways to get those leeches out of the club or would you go in with a different approach uh, well, i didn't, don't really know why are we waiting till the 58th minute <laughs> exactly right that's it that's all you got to say <laughs> okay that's all he wants to say because something's wrong with your mic i think you need to get it checked first baritosh what about you 
मिनट के बाद जो जाने का सीन है डू यू थिंक इट्स राइट और वुड इट बी परफेक्टली फाइन इफ यू एक्चुअली जस्ट बॉयकॉट द गेम फ्रॉम द फर्स्ट मिनट और लाइक आई डोंट थिंक आई डोंट थिंक फैंस शुड गो आई डोंट थिंक फैंस शुड गो दैट्स एज सिंपल एज दैट बिकॉज़ इफ यू आर गोइंग इफ यू आर स्टेइंग अप अंटिल द 58th मिनट दैट मींस यू आर बाइंग द टिकट्स इफ यू आर बाइंग द टिकट्स देन ग्लेजर्स ग्लेजर्स आर हर्ट बिकॉज़ दे नो दैट द प्ले द फैंस वुड कम if you don't go to the game then that sends a statement right 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 so basically you're just saying that do not go for the games but do not go for the games no, but i have a feeling that nothing doing ek would you like to add anything on that hello there's something there's an issue with his mic i guess so we'll just have a conversation over here with us and five other back ke bare mein hum yahan pe baat kar rahe the about uh, harry maguire and all and uh, do you only think that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is now pushing these guys a little too far now because I think I do not remember the last time when Harry Maguire was rested. And looking at the scenes that have been created, injuries of Paul Pogba, Scott McTominay, Bhai Chips, Khana Band Karega. Ah, Scott McTominay, ये सब मतलब these people have got injured time after time. And now Harry Maguire is also on the verge because he, I, I, I've been hearing that he has he's been carrying a niggle for quite a while. और कितने दिन रहेंगे ट्रांसफर विंडो में अराउंड थ्री डेज लेफ्ट सो इट्स द इनकॉम्पिटेंस ऑफ द बोर्ड यस वी कुड से दैट बट व्हाई इज ओली गना सोचे नॉट प्रोवाइडिंग मकवाय विद द रेस्ट आई आई थिंक दैट इज वन मेजर मेजर ड्रॉबैक ही इज नॉट रियलाइजिंग दैट हैरी मकवाय इज प्लेइंग वीक इन वीक आउट एंड ही हैड एन इंजरी ही स्टिल केम बैक बिकॉज़ द क्लब नीड्स हिम ही नोस दैट एंड नाउ नाउ इज द टाइम वे ही कुड हैव बीन रेस्टेड इजीली Uh, or he could have been on the bench uh, where right. if the if the player was needed he could have uh, I came Bailey on the bench i think eric bai yeah, was yeah. back squad but yeah, he was so a... i think i think maybe against city we could see eric bai but uh, i don't think harry maguire should be played the way he is being played right now right so this is a major concern and uh, the good news uh, anyways is that scott mcdomney is back on his feet we did get to see a video from him and he might be returning to the team soon but we just hope that ole gunnar solcha is a little bit precautious uh, when it comes to the likes of fred harry maguire and anthony martial because that's all we got and i think even if we do make a signing it's just going to be the one signing this window and that might that just might be bruno fernandes you never know about this board so agar hoga bhi to ek hi sign hi hogi warna it's just pretty much hopeless so you are, so, keep, you are just keep, keeping you are just keeping your fingers crossed and being optimistic right now <laughs> because you also know that this is a very far fetched thought at the moment yeah man i kya kar sakte hai it's the hope that kills you end of the day and <laughs> you know what killed me even more is that when i heard that uh, Newcastle is about to be bought by the bought by the Sheikh. So basically, we are going to, <laughs> to be below Newcastle next season or next next season. So one more title contender up will come in a few time. You could say that. Well, we hope we can do that. But you never know, yeah. With the Sheikh and the with, with the Sheikh and the Middle Eastern money, you would know better. <laughs> you would know better yeah, yeah, about the Middle Eastern but, money. But I think it would it would be easier for them to buy newcastle obviously because it's much cheaper yeah, for yeah, for much cheaper much cheaper manchester united is a very costly club manchester united is a costly club and with that there's a lot of baggage there's a lot of debt newcastle mein itna kuch hai nahi you have a, you have a proper authentic fan base in newcastle united and it's a good ground it's basically like manchester city manchester city no one knew manchester city uh, much before sheikh mansoor bought it and you know he just transformed the club from the top to bottom and we might just get to see that but we as fans need to protest i guess a little bit and though we did win i think uh, this is just uh, i think it was just a consolation i, I think it is more negative than the positive because uh, then again there'll be talks that uh, these players are fine they are beating a te- team 6-0 it's just that they are inconsistent and this and that but the truth is that many of the players in the team are deserving of uh, a title contender a team squad so i don't think that uh manchester united right now uh, have a very positive outcome of the result that we had against cranmer well we have to ride through the storm and let's just see where it takes us but we have to be a little be a bit vigilant as well and speak as much as possible because this is something which is unacceptable we are united by the end of the day like in it's city that we face next by those on uh, it's thursday night over here 1:30 am basically by midnight and we will be doing a preview by then as well but let's just get the gist of it are you po- are you optimistic hopefully 
hopefully dinner joins us for that particular preview yeah hopefully dinner joins us because something is seriously wrong with akers he is making us he are having chips and he is not even speaking a word right now so say something wrong with him akers it's all right man i can humiliate you on fifa later on it's okay akers is just worried that he'll be destroyed so he is not even coming online yeah he his life his life will be destroyed by me it's all right anyways uh, we just sign off over here paridosh nice having you we won 6 nil against tranmere we will be progressing to the next round of the fa cup hopefully we'll get another ekas ekas wants to say something oh ekas you want to say something yeah where the fuck were you first and foremost <laughs> Or as or as did or as did it says it. Where were you? Where were you? <laughs> so where where were you? No comments on that. Um, it was it's a personal matter, but uh, you are eating chips, man. Come on, you're still eating. <laughs> <laughs> I can still Should hear you through the mic. Man. You're having Doritos, man. Come on. <laughs> you can have that later on. <laughs> guys matter. he is saying that uh, we are still saying, on the podcast by the way i don't yeah, give a damn bro if you if you can eat chips online i can at least shame you for it <laughs> shame 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 all right <laughs> okay so <laughs> okay mr dorito We'll call you Mr. Dorito from now on. I think you should ah, name your. Now, now he is Mr. Dorito. <laughs> you should change it to Mr. Dorito. Mr. Dorito. Change your name to Mr. Dorito. What's your What's your valuable insights? Would you like to add anything before we sign off? The ball is on. Ball. Why is that Gali face? Go. He doesn't even mind. भाई क्या कर सकते हैं चूतिया लोग एनीवेज सिटी गेम से पहले वी विल बी डूइंग अ प्रीव्यू जाएगा ये सेंसर नहीं होएगा हां गाइस यू हैव टू कट इट फाइव नो एब्सोल्युटली नॉट एब्सोल्युटली मैं मैंने एडिट कर दिया आई कैन आई एम आई एम नॉट डूइंग दिस परपसली बट देयर आर पीपल वॉकिंग इन सो आई कैन नॉट टॉक सो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉकिंग आउट ऑफ वॉकिंग आउट ऑफ द स्टेडियम एंड यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉकिंग इन व्हाट द फक इज रॉन्ग विद यू busy Uh, bastard and uh, Parthush <laughs> and I was Parthush and I was free as ever because it was Sunday and we will be back to work tomorrow. But we will be back on Wednesday. Sorry, Tuesday. Tuesday. Yeah, we'll be back on Tuesday. We will be giving you guys a preview of the Manchester City game. Hopefully, we might be able to uh, turn it over. Quite unlikely, but let's just see what happens over so. there. I don't think so. I don't think so. But we'll yeah, neither of us. Neither of us does. But yeah, we'll be back, Mr. Dorito, Paritosh Joshi, and Varish Tiwari. Now signing off. <laughs> we'll be back then. for the ten of you who watch us regularly. <laughs> the ten people who watch us, we love you guys. We will be back. I can't just watch the negative instead. All right, guys. Signing off. Bye bye.